right up. The Kings taking on the Magic. For the Kings, a chance to get a much needed win here at home. A game that can change the course for their season. This could be the moment where they rise up. Magic Kings, just moments away, right after this. Greetings and best wishes for a happy holiday season from all of us at 2K Sports as we get set for this NBA presentation. Joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge is with us on the sidelines. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now, these the new power rankings, they tell a great story. They're stuck in neutral, unable to gain any real positive momentum. And, and I think for Sacramento, they're still sorting out their roster, uh, trying to find a way to unlock their full potential in a holding pattern, if you will. And that could change, though, at any moment. Now the starting group for Orlando. The forward spots, it's Wagner and Bancaro. Mikel Bridges out there with Anthony, and it's Carter in at the center position. And for Sacramento, Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. Fox in the And both of these teams are loaded with talent in their front. This should be an exciting watch. Now here. A shot goes in. First shot, first basket. Oh, nice work on the offensive glass. Ben Carroll being rewarded for his efforts. by Fox. It's good. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now, here's Fox. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. And it's good. Two points. thing that's really emerged, RJ, for De'Aaron Fox over the last few years is leadership. Yeah, hey, when you can follow the example you set, and he is setting that example night in and night out. Now Fox. to a close range shot. Here's Fox. Good there. Good work defensively by Anthony. Magic have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Bancaro kicks to Anthony. On the wing, Bridges shoots over Herter. And there's Bridges on the assist by Anthony. Bridges has got his second basket of the game. Fox against Anthony. Fox passes to Herter. Monk with the ball. Pass to Fox. Six on the shot clock. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. 
Now that opens the passing lanes for Fox when he's scoring inside. Defenders can't quite be as aggressive on him. Inside, here's Bridges, and it's slammed in by Bridges. And the finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, the setup, the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. He'll take up the assist. Monk's just got a good feel for kind of how to exploit the defense, especially about how he's averaging just around Shooting two. That's good from Anthony. And both free throws, good for Anthony. grabs the board. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Wagner kicks to Anthony. Wagner outside. The Magic again. Bridges with the steal. Knocked away and stolen by Murray. Wagner against Monk. Bridges with the... Coming off a good outing against the Warriors in San Francisco. Yeah, and that one, the intensity on the offensive end was not by their opponent. That led to some... The better town, they never let up. Great effort. Great win. And now the first time out called here for the Magic. All right, are you ready, everybody? Here come some T-shirts coming your way. One thirty nine left here in the first quarter. And here's Russell taking a look at his numbers. He averages about seven points a game.
they've met this year. And with this matchup being an East versus West affair, it will be the first of only two meetings between the teams. As a player, these... at six. The Kings need to get off a shot here. Isles no good. For the Orlando Magic, they come in off a good outing against you never let the fans become a factor. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. It's the Magic up seven. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. About the offensive approach for the Magic. The story so far has been their mid-range. The analytics might not like. Fox dishes to Mitchell. To the inside. And it's McGee with the jam. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. 20. And that one's good. Hachimura. And showing some toughness on that take. Hachimura, these kinds of buckets can energize a team. against Russell. Shot from the top of the key. And there are the Kings with another bucket. Calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. First All-Star appearance. He's developed a well-rounded game, Greg. Plus, he proved that he's got that clutch gene winning the Mr. Clutch Award. He is just now hitting his Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. Murray comes in for 20. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Mitchell. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. Fantastic first season under Coach Mike Brown. The Kings are ready for bigger and better things in year two. Brown said, this is probably the first opportunity I've had that allows me to do what I feel was necessary to get the team headed in the right direction. There wasn't going to be much pushback because they were looking for somebody to give them guidance. Here's McGee again, Sacramento. A quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Bridges. It's hauled in by the Kings. 
Herter kicks to Fox. And McGee hits out the key. Pass to Murray. Takes the three. Another three for Sacramento. Flexing his accuracy. Defenses have to be aware of where Murray is at all times on the perimeter. The Magic have gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. Russell passes to Bridges. From outside the arc, good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got three assists tonight. And shooting-wise, they're first. And Richard, with D'Angelo Russell, he's a guy who can do just about anything in the backcourt. That's right. some changes here for the Kings. Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Wagner. And it's Franz Wagner in for Mikael Bridges. Second quarter, just under three and a half minutes. Here's Fox. No good from 11 feet. Well, some kids you get the shot you want, it just doesn't. Fox finishes it off. The pass to Ben Carroll. Kicks it to Anthony. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. Wagner wide open. And a miss there on the triple. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. And Fox gets it to go. We've seen Fox take over games before. Only takes a few shots to go. And then this man is feeling it. Russell rushes to Van Carroll. Carter with a screen on Murray. To the paint. Shooting foul as and he's a crafty, kind of an old school big. Carter Jr. knows how to keep defenders off balance. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. In the seventh pick of the 2018 draft, Carter Jr.'s potential is enticing. A bruising big man with a bright future ahead of him. 
Sacramento making a switch here. Mitchell's checked in. Bridges, he's checked in for Orlando. And he sinks the second. Bancaro kicks to Anthony. Back to Bancaro. Pass to Wagner. The dish to Bancaro. Plays it up and banks it in. And the Magic lead by one. And how about the footwork and body position? seconds left in the first half. Wagner against Monk. Lock at six. The pass to Sabonis. Over Carter. And Sabonis the bucket on the assist by Monk. Sabonis has got his second basket. And you got to appreciate just the presence of mind there. Monk demonstrating solid court awareness by finding the other man. A big time effort for De'Aaron Fox. Providing a lot of energy for the Sacramento Kings. What a quarter that saw them generate a great comeback effort and are now out in front with momentum behind them. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, DeMontis. This team was efficient in the first half. What's working offensively? Everyone knew today was going to be a game. We all came out focused and we're playing team basketball. We're sharing the ball and that's what's working for us. And you got a lot of weapons there, DeMontis. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Hey there, everybody. Shaq says hi. Kenny says hi, too. Yes, we are in the midst of the NBA season and a perfect time to see how things are coming together in the West. You take a look at Sacramento. They haven't looked intimidating thus far. The hunger to improve uh, just isn't there. That worries you. I'm starting to feel that this team needs a culture change. Let's switch back to the Sacramento Kings dealing with a
And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. What a game we're seeing from Mikel Bridges. You, you just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look. Who can get their shots within the flow of the offense. Checking out the group for Jamal Mosley to start the second half. Dan Caro and Carter make up the inside pair. Mikel Bridges out there with Cole Anthony. And it's Wagner in at the three spot. And when you talk about big men, you won't find many guys more versatile. Shot, he'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. And talking about a player like Keegan Murray, it's hard not to be excited about this young man's future. A six foot eight small forward, and you know how important wing depth is in the league right now. He can really shoot it from deep. He's definitely a player you're going to want to watch moving forward. That free throw, no good. A lean, wiry 6'8". Keegan Murray, he can defend and he can shoot it. He has the tools every team is looking for. Good on the second free throw. Wagner with it. Still yet to score. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Wendell Carter Jr. didn't break through in his first stop with the Bulls, but he's become a cornerstone player with the Magic. What he says is, I've definitely tapped into a different side of myself. Defensively, being able to guard one through five, just continuing to go up from there and helping my team. Kevin? Good stuff, DA. Thank you. That's good from Wagner. Able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Show some fire and keep defending. Now a timeout called by Orlando.
this three-point contest and how it's shaping up. Let's take a look at some of the top candidates emerging as we see here some players who are likely to make the final cut. Not too shabby of shooters on this list. find out more and as we get closer to the three-point contest once we have our final list of official contestants yeah it's going to be very competitive that, that's the one thing we all know we, we got an incredible Timeout called by Sacramento. take a look at some numbers for DeMontis Sabonis. He showed up every night and had some noteworthy performances over the last month. And such a great distributor and decision maker among the top 10 in assists per game. And he's top 10 rebounds this year for good reason. Sabonis' is screen on him. Here's Fox. And there are the Kings with another bucket. Nice use of the pick there. Fox lost the defender and capitalized. Now here's Anthony. A seven. Oh, and a jam by Anthony. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Orlando Magic. Oh, Second half of play with just under two and a half. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. And Bridges continues to be more adept at picking up fouls. Such a clever offensive player. It's his first trip to the line. Mikel Bridges taking two shots. Since being given more responsibility, Bridges has really blossomed and wants to continue getting better. Exactly. Fox. 
Now Monk. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Just five to shoot. Taken away by Anthony. For the lead. And it's Fox with the rebound. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. Six to shoot. And Fox has it in the corner. No good on the triple. Down low. Murray on him. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Fox. Bridges with the board. Orlando's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. That one falls coming off. Number one. It, defensively, his intensity just never dropped. You match that up with his incredible timing, and you can see why he's atop the list. And the Kings making a change here. Fuentes checked in for the Kings. Mitchell comes in for Fox. And as Mitchell... Forty-four left to play in the third. Herder hey, hey, against Anthony, and the shot goes down. Anthony's eleven. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Outside, Sabonis. And here's Herder. He has five. Miles the screen for Herder. Lock at six. Passes it to Lyles. Over Anthony. Lyles no good. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. The Kings trail by three. Pass to Sabonis. 
They could use a bucket. And it's Wagner with the rebound. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how dangerous he can be, and they guarded him perfectly. Russell dishes to Anthony. Wagner with a screen for Anthony. It's called in by the Kings. Six second difference between the Jams it straight down. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Defending. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Magic lead by four. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. Now in our assist to the game, brought to you by State Farm. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. He does do a great job steering the ship for them out there and keeping the offense clicking. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. JaVale McGee is out there with Trey Lyons. And it's Mitchell, and it's Fox, and it's Duarte in at the three spot. That's the five out there for the Kings. Orlando moving the ball around. Over to the wing. Fox finds McGee. Pass to Duarte. Now Lyons. Here's McGee. And it's Russell with the rebound. Magic leading by four. To the inside. Hachimura. And the dunk by Hachimura. The D. Tight nailed five of them. Russell against Fox. McGee sets the pick for Fox. Mitchell up top. Here's the pass to Orte. And Wagner over to help. Three-pointer, Fox. Good, and the assist goes to Mitchell. Mitchell's got three assists in the game. Russell against Fox. Passes it to Bridges. Wagner kicks to Suggs, fires the three, and it's Sacramento with the rebound. We'll be playing host to Toronto for the next one, and that's the third of four straight played. In it's been like this all night for both teams, the offenses having their way. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch, because that's who's going to come away with this. Mitchell passes to Lyles. Here's Fox. And it's Fox with the rebound. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. Russell finds Hachimura. Hodner outside. Suggs with the ball. Wagner as green on Mitchell. Suggs passes to Wagner. And finished off by Wagner.
Kings will go for a different look here. Sabonis, he's checked in for McGee. Murray comes in for Lyles. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Duarte. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Davion Mitchell. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Wagner. Bancaro comes in for Rui Hachimura. Wagner's checked in for Jalen Suggs. And Anthony subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hey, guys, during the break, listen in to Mike Brown. Three goes in. It's always a welcome sight, guys. Thanks, David. Sabonis set pick for Herbert. Off target from outside. Magic leading by five. Going inside. Count that bucket. This is not the same guy we saw in the first half. Credit him for finding a way to shake off those first two quarters. Anthony against Fox. Sabonis is screen on Anthony. It's Fox with the drive. Sabonis, good, and it's Fox who picks up the assist. Six points for Sabonis. Answering the bell, Sabonis, big time, guys. Anthony against Fox. touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Fox against Anthony. Takes a three. That one's good and the Magic lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Fox. That is a huge shot by the lefty and Fox is proving that he can be the go-to guy when his team needs a bucket. Sabonis. Carter dishes to Bridges. The three from Anthony. Down by the Kings. Finds Fox. One ten left in the fourth quarter. A ten foot. The wide open look here for Fox. Off the mark. Misses. Great contest by the defense, and he's unable to hit that tough fadeaway. Money! And he has brought it within two points. Oh, you just never seen a player with absolutely no fear. Pass to Anthony. It's up a three. Frames it from downtown. And obviously his momentum from the last game has came. Seven seconds left to play in the final quarter.
Timeout called by the Kings. They're trailing by five. 26 seconds in the fourth quarter of this one. Feeling it out a bit. Right to the hoop. Money! And this is the trust that Fox's teammates have in him. Right there. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. And they're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. And so they choose to intentionally foul. The Aaron Fox. Second team foul. Second team foul. First free throw is a four point cushion. Those were really important foul shots. In the corner, it's Monk. There's the three. Nails the tray. I see the ice. He has absolute ice in his veins. This guy, he lives for these moments. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. Drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. And his free throw put a bow on this one. Nice way to finish the game. It's good! And that shot brings them to within just one. Coming up big time for his guys. Murray seizing the moment. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. They're up by one. Just four seconds left in the
And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. the first and that will put them up by two. And so both free throws are good and it's a three point game. Those were pressure packed free throws and he looked as cool as he could be. So big to give them a three point lead. And so the big win by Orlando in a tight game. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment. And, and Player of the game, Cole Anthony.